Cup final against Rangers looming, Aberdeen were happy to welcome back skipper Alex McLeish for the visit of Falkirk. The Dons were after a confidence-boosting win with Hamden in mind, and Ian Jess got them off to a flyer after 11 minutes. Jess started the move on the edge of his own box. Sheeter, Richardson and Wright all played their parts, and Jess found the net at the second attempt. But Falkirk upset the Aberdeen rhythm with an equaliser after 18 minutes. Trickery and determination saw Kevin McAllister fly over a dangerous ball, and when it was knocked back by Neil Duffy, Scott Sloan volleyed home. Miksu Patalainen was striving to get on the score sheet, and he came close with a long range effort which deflected wide off Joe McLaughlin. From the resultant corner, Patalainen had the last laugh. Richardson's cross knocked down by Jess for a finish which owed as much to instinct as anything else. Scott Booth received a great reception when he made his first team comeback after injury, replacing Duncan Shearer. And Booth made an instant impact, bursting down the right, then cutting inside Oliver and almost chipping Westwater within a minute of coming on. The Dons were in command, but they almost let it slip. When Forbes Johnson put Gary Lennox through, he beat Smith, but his shot was deflected past with Sloan arriving just too late at the far post. Aberdeen sewed the game up in 72 minutes, Paul Mason's cross knocked down by Patalainen, and Booth making sure with a cheeky back heel. Jess and Booth showed tremendous understanding to give Patalainen a chance for the fourth, playing their way out of a tight situation before Booth crossed, but Patalainen hit the post, and it finished 3-1. I, I thought I was a little bit unlucky with the, with the post, but uh, that's the way it goes. I, I said, well, fine with the one goal, and that's enough for me.